There we go. So hello, welcome to the Fire Storm Squadron Firecast. Today I am joined by Connor McNamara, who is part of the XTC team for Northern Ireland. Yes, which is really cool. Um, I just close that. So first questions first is what got you started in X Wing? So like um, I started off with X Wing 1.0 when it first first came out. So I jumped on the bandwagon and played it for a bit. Probably disappeared somewhere in about wave four, kind of got lost in the noise. Um, work stuff got in the way, and I put it away for quite a while. And then um, a good friend of mine, who I used to work for actually a long time ago, Phil GC, said, "Oh, by the way, like X Wing's in a really good place. Come and play some 1.0." About the same time, the Arc 170 came out, uh, which is one of my favourite ships. So I was quite excited when the New Republic stuff came out again this year. And he said, "Come in and give it a go. Uh, jump back in 1.0, play for a little bit uh, on and off." Um, but at the start of tail end of last year, start of this year, I thought I'd take it a bit more seriously and try and like, really get into some X Wing a bit more heavily this year. Excellent. So you've been asked to play for Northern Ireland? Yeah, so I uh, expressed interest in going with uh, Cormac uh, Higgins, uh, who seems to be sort of managing the sort of two Irish teams, sort of finding volunteers, etc. I know you weren't able to make it this year, so yep. there was a, a space. So I put my name, three months hat in the ring, um, went to the team tournament uh, up in Milton Keynes with Cormac um, and then I think after that uh, there was a space available in the Northern Irish team uh, which I meant to qualify for and therefore um, can go to XTC uh, qualifying for Northern Ireland with part of the Northern Ireland team. Cool. And not as a merchant. Who don't know the XTC is what exactly? So uh, again, kind of late to the bar, I mean, so it's the um, X-Wing team championships so it's going to be like a preliminary um, event to the Euros this year. Um, split away from the ETC, I don't really uh, to do with timing more than anything else as far as I'm aware, so that they could align it with uh, the Euros. Um, so it's a couple of days, um, I believe six rounds on the top of my head, I may be wrong, but yes. more. Um, teams of five from various countries and uh, locations, uh, so you each team, person in each team is allowed to fly one of the factions, and then there's a pairing process beforehand, so for that, um, well, because of that, I've changed factions to go play some resistance, because there is a resistance player or anyone with any resistance experience, and it kind of suits the play style that I'm trying to develop a bit better, which is some aces and some uh, multi repositional ships. Sounds good to me. Excellent. So today you're going to find the resistance then, I guess? Yeah, so we're going to go um, try resistance fives, quite enjoyed it. Um, but this time I'm going to try the triple T70s. Uh, caveated the fact that points are due to change around the corner. I believe the 25th is still the due date for the points drop. Um, as far as I'm aware, the XTC will be on the new points uh, with the new releases. So cool. just trying things out, getting a feel for the different ships at the minute, rather than trying to commit to any one list because we don't know what's going to happen. Uh, it's all kind of up in the air. Okay. So we do have Phil Pong getting set up to play a game in the background. I believe he's going to rebuff a fan against you for the first game. So do you know your list off the top of your head? Yeah. So um, so three T T seventies. A lot of people take um, LRT, but this time I've swapped it in uh, under some advice from Phil GC to Snap Wexley. Uh, with composure to get a bit more punch um, in the list and also with a lot of things sort of sitting in that i4 bracket at the minute which is becoming more and more relevant uh, with the jedi uh, with the phantoms etc i4 is not too bad a place uh, with an 11 point bid he might be quite useful uh, neon num uh, kind of the standard uh, neon build at the minute which is uh, the black one title uh, the pattern analyzer uh, and heroic uh, and then poe diamond with uh, heroic and an r4 astromech they've all got the jamming beams because it's free and they've all got the server motors because it's free uh, I'm pretty sure I'll forget to use the German beams, it might be relevant <laughs> at some point, we shall see, but generally um, they're just eggs, they're free. Okay, that's cool, if you want to head to the table, cool. we shall get started. I don't want to set up a camera because something's gone funky with it, but I shall do that. Give me one second. Oh, it has appeared. Hurrah! Great. I am pleased that this has automatically happened. So... <laughs> Phil's list in a moment. We're getting started in the red one, so. Let him play one. Yeah, Phil can have the initiative because he's paid three points too many. What I do want to check is. Oh, chat seems to be ricking there. Hey, hey, Chad. Uh, okay. How does one pew pew? No, no, there's this that I have saved, so that's fine. What, you don't have Boba Fenn saved? Why would you, why would you not? Um, because I don't play Boba Fenn. Um, I need to get some good attack from mine, actually, it's probably a good chance. What, 
Bob have got there? Yeah, this was a little old. Want to tell us? Um, so Bob has got Fearless, Prox Mines, Hard Solid Gunner, Perceptive Co-Pilot, and the Marauder title. I must remember Prox and The amount of times I've been like, yep. oh, just go three forward. I drop a proxy button. How? How? How, how do I forget this? Fearless, Prox Mines, Solo, Marauder. What, what else? Hard Solid Gunner, Perceptive Co-Pilot, oh. and Marauder. Are you not finding him slightly too expensive, so it hasn't, or is he still worth it? Um, not really. He's tempted to just survive to the end and give me such a point for that he's done well. That was why she gets triple the races. I was like, Marauder title, there we go, because that's how you take a gunner. Was that a bit hashtag not bitter? And so, fearless prox wise, oh, except the code pilot <laughs> Something like that. And Ben? Triple the races. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, I'm hoping to, to equally dance circles around it, but we'll see. You know, I'm not the best aces player, hence forcing myself to fly. Mr. Ming? Oh, that's definitely. All good? Yep, yeah. all good. Yeah, yeah I took a finish with that was because it was doing bugger all. Wonderfully, um, I know that just makes bugger cry. If you haven't been in the Duchess, it's all going to be really well. There you go, I'll move it over there. I'll move it over here. Fine, just So, I'll put that up here. I thought, I don't want to put my I thought down first. Hey, X-Men Double Wars. Hello. Nice to see you guys. Hopefully we're not dropping too much frame rate. I have tried it. Someone wants coffee. No, thanks, Pedro. No, thank you. Cheers. So, just getting set up and good to go. So, I shall run through the list again. So, Connor. From the Northern Irish XTC, XTC, I can't say that. The Northern <laughs> Irish, Irish XTC. Oh, well, you both are. Yeah. Yeah. I have forgotten that Phil Pond is also part of that team. Um, Phil's one of our two most recent ones with Pietro. Yeah, exactly. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. What's the full team? I'd have to pull out my phone. You don't know the full team. That's fine. No, I didn't know until like the night before. So. Uh, I can, well, that's because you. Yeah, we've got Pieter, Pieter from the, the Polish chap from America who's joining us. Who's, Mercenary, then we just cool. the rest of it. Uh, Phil's our other mercenaries are allowed to. Um, we have um, Daryl McDermott, Mc, McD, McDermott, McDermott, uh, and Gary McDowell. That sounds right. And uh, the third person's name is hidden on WhatsApp, so I can't. We don't know for now. So that's fine. It's, it's, that's cool. It's, well, it's, congratulations to all of them for making the team. So that's wicked. And then we have, yeah, so Connor's running Poe with Heroic R4S to make Intergate Escort Jammy Beam. Neon Nun with Heroic Intergate Escort Pattern Runner, the Black One and Jammy Beam. And then Temin, aka Snap, with Composure Integrated Escort. Yeah. I imagine a lot of the guys are actually travelling to, we've got a few travelling to Italy, haven't we, from across our main friends and yeah. Yeah, we do. Um, associates. Oh, that might have been Phil GC. Phil GC? Who is Phil GC? He's some guy who writes a blog. Well, <laughs> yeah, no, no. The question is, is no, no. it a real Phil GC? Although he has written a blog it's, for a while, hasn't he? some guy that kind of used to write a blog, right? <laughs> <laughs> he's become so famous that he needs to write his blog. He's, he's even a kid his later, isn't he? He's not watched this and be like, oh. He won't. It's nah, he won't. He won't. He's not important. We're not important enough to be on Phil's record. I don't know. Lovely he might, he might stick his head in. How are you doing, Tabmore? Are you guys good today? He's only met me since I was 13 years old. Alright, are, are we on the clock or do we want to start the clock? Oh, I can start the clock. If you are ready. Define. I, if I set the right time, that'd be good. Yeah, define my Define my yeah. yeah. Around 15 minutes, right? Uh, something like that. 75. Seven hours. I had to change time so many times. Oh, because then the final. How long was the final? Two and a half, is it? Two. Two hours. Just give me a final minute. There we go. Right. Well, we're to uh, we begin. Cool. Best luck. Cool. Yeah, a ah, that's no problem. Not, I enjoyed it, to be honest. It was a bit of hard work, but it was good fun. Your fault? My fault. Ooh. Hard two, not off the table. Good start. So as you guys call out your dice rolls today, because I'm sticking them in. Call out the dice rolls? Oh, yeah, because we have no dice count at the minute because of a slight issue last weekend. Yeah, with, yeah. Um, uh, shall we say, to rushed be... clumsiness. Yeah, the picture's a bit jerky and a bit sluggish. Is it? Uh, uh, without stopping the stream, I can't adjust that. Is it bad? Uh, it's 
Go on, me and have a look yourself. Is it bubble? That's pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Going forward. What? I'm ready. Boost. Boost and fire spread. What's that? Okay. Uh, all the ships can do it. Yeah. All the ships can do it. Literally every ship on the table can do it. Yeah. It's like the rules. Uh, just take Okay, guys, I'm going to have to pause the stream for I'll keep the recording going so I'll get it up live. But I'm sure we'll get it refreshed in just engagement. a moment. Like you are you're called Colin Look. Mm -hmm. Mini, mini, mini. No, no, just MTN. That's just, fine. That's what 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 I can't even do that. <laughs> okay. I can't even set it without uh, stopping the recording as well. You guys want to pause just a second? Of course. We will start to give pause at the end of this time. Do!